But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and majesty, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him for judgment. And he, and he, and he will separate them from one another as a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep on his right, the place of honor, and the goats on his left, the place of rejection. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you blessed of my father, you favorite of God, appointed for eternal salvation. Inherit, 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 inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing I want us to understand. When we get to verse 34, when the kings will say to those who have come, uh, verse 35, for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. This is personal. You know, we, we here in the U.S., we think, you know, well, I pay my taxes, so therefore I'm already helping the poor. I'm helping them prisoners because I pay taxes. That's not what this is talking about. This is personal. See, it's one thing for you to be generous with somebody else's money. It's nothing for you to be generous with your money and to help. This is, I was thirsty, and you brought me something. I and you. I didn't send a mercenary, somebody in my, in my spot. I, I was you. active. I was active in my help. Okay? Active. Active. Yeah. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me with help and ministering care. I was in prison and you came to me, ignoring personal danger. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you and thirsty and you did and give you something to eat? And when did we see you as a stranger and invite you in or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? The king will answer and say to them, I assure you and most certainly say to you, to the extent that you did it for one of these brothers of mine. Now, remember when Jesus um, was talking to Saul mm -hmm. and he said to him, um, he said, why are you persecuting me? Why are you persecuting me? Me. Jesus doesn't separate himself from those whom you help. He said, if you did it to one of these, my brothers. Jesus. Jesus' brothers. Not the ones that Mary had, no. Brothers in the kingdom. There you go. There you go. Let me tell you something that many of you don't understand. <clears throat> We have brethren who are in prison. Well, why are they in prison? Because they did it. They broke the law. But guess what? God will save them. And he'll get them out. He'll get them out. He'll get them out. He'll restore them. He'll give them wives. He'll give them husbands. He'll give them children. He'll put them in the ministry. All that kind of stuff. All that. 
because he's the God that restores. We have a we have a young brother now. Uh, he, he won't mind, but Brother Holloman. Brother Holloman was a was a prisoner. He got born again. He fell in love with Jesus. This is what I'm telling you now. See, I ain't talking about something. Well, that's just a that's just a you know a uh, you know a, they in jail and they need Jesus. No, he fell in love with Jesus. He fell in love with Jesus. See, it's not enough to say, well, yeah, I want to get saved. It's another thing to fall in love with Jesus. He fell in love with Jesus. He got him a wife. He got him some children. He's in the ministry today. He's been in the ministry for years. He just went to Bible school recently. That's up to him. But let me tell you why I tell this story. Because he, if you hear his testimony, you would say, God can't do that. He's living out what God can do. He's living out the goodness of God. I don't know his testimony like he knows his testimony. But let me tell you something. If you're in a situation that you think there's no way for me to get out, I serve a God that can get you out. Mm -hmm. 